श्री लाबू श्री कृष्णा जी सर थैंक यू फॉर गिविंग मी दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू स्पीक ऑन मोशन ऑफ थैंक्स ऑन द प्रेसिडेंट एड्रेस सर लेट मी स्टार्ट ऑफ बाय कंग्रेचुलेटिंग आवर इंडियन क्रिकेट टीम विच हैज वन टी ट्वेंटी वर्ल्ड कप आफ्टर सेवेंटीन लॉन्ग इयर्स इट हैज ब्रॉट जॉय टू एवरी हाउस होल्ड इन दिस कंट्री सर एंड I also want to congratulate my colleague MPs who has gone through the grind of uh, election 2024 and has come out here victorious. With you as a, as a leader of this house, as a custodian of this house, I should pat myself. We will definitely work towards fulfilling the aspirations of the people of this country, sir. And I also want to congratulate Prime Minister Modi ji for being elected the third time as a leader of this house, sir. sir to best define modi ji i need to take the words of uh, naidu garu and his uh, chandra naidu garu and his uh, and his observations that he has made three months back sir in a private conversation he said that he had almost 45 long years in politics in those 45 years he has seen lot of leaders in this country there are lot of leaders who had great vision there are lot of vision, uh, leaders who has great administrative skills there were lot of leaders who had great mass following sir but what he said was what chandra nadgar said was in modi ji he has seen the whole of these three things in th three of these qualities in modi ji sir that itself says what prime minister modi ji is all about sir not just naidu ji but i think everyone in this country has seen the three three qualities in uh, honorable prime minister modi ji sir that's why i think in election 2024 they press the evms for the continuation of reforms they press the evms for the continuation of development that he has initiated they press the evms for the fulfillment of the aspirations for the youth of this country sir sir there's so much of negativity that is been talked about for the last couple of hours but i don't want to go into that there are some great things that are happening in this country sir we are living in a country which has one of the fastest growing economy sir gdp has been has been doubled from 2 trillion dollars to 4 trillion dollars in the last 10 years sir in last 10 years our per capita income nearly doubled sir in the last 10 years exports grew from 300 billion dollars to almost 765 billion dollars sir in the last 10 years our fdi has grown up from 36 billion dollars to 83.5 billion dollars sir not just economy even in infra we have made great strides our country is home to second largest road network sir and third largest aviation market right now we should be really proud of this achievement sir also we have empowered women by giving almost 30 crore mudra loans to the women entrepreneurs in the last 10 years sir more than 120000 startups were emerged in india in the last 10 years sir and also we should be very proud that india is now home to largest number of unicorns in the world sir not just reforms not just uh, economy not just infra sir but also welfare measures have been taken care in the last 10 years sir 25 crore people have been lifted out of poverty 4.2 crore houses were built and also 3 crore more houses have been sanctioned recently sir 11.5 lakh households were provided with safe drinking water through jal jeevan mission sir these are the things that we should really we should be really proud of sir not just these sir also we have passed some important legislations in the last 10 years in this house sir we have implemented gst which was very much needed because we had a really cumbersome taxation process across this across the state sir and we have brought in new legislations banning triple talaq and also women's reservation bill which has empowered the women sir we have also brought in new criminal laws and also we have obligated article 370 which freed jammu and kashmir sir these are the some of the achievements for the last 10 years we should be really proud of sir but honorable Pr prime minister modi ji and nda are not going to sit on these achievements definitely we need to have we need to set new targets and we need to set new targets for ourselves and also overcome new challenges to overcome uh, to reach this targets sir we need to give more push for the rural infrastructure we need to invest in rural education we need to invest in the rural healthcare and also we need to invest in the rural digital infrastructure sir we need to do more to double the farmers income rather than just thinking about it we need to take on unemployment and create more jobs to the youth of this country sir 
we need to do we also need to bring more bigger in the manufacturing sector sir pli scheme is a good start but we need to remember our our mm msmes are working with the highest interest rates in the world sir highest power charges highest difficult labor laws and our msmes are working with one of the costliest logistics anywhere in the world sir so i think we need to sit together not just as ventures opposition also sit together and actually try to come up with this solution and come up with this policy so that our msmes are much more competitive across the world sir also the government under honorable prime minister modi ji need to address these issues to build a strong robust india so that india will become vikasad bharat sir tdp as an nda partner we support you in this endeavor all through for the last for the next 5 years people of andhra wants to work with you people of andhra wants to work with you sir people of andhra have shown it in the recent election results also out of 175 assembly elections assembly seats yeah. that we have contested we have NDA has won almost 164 seats in Andhra, sir. In the 25 parliament seats, NDA has contested. NDA has won 21 parliament seats, sir. That is a success rate of more than 90 percent success rate in Andhra Pradesh, and also 56 percent vote share has been given to the NDA, sir. So, these are the achievements. These are these are the electoral results that have happened in the recent election, sir. So, now the election process has been finished. I request the honourable prime minister and the other cabinet minister to extend it. helping hand in reconstruction and rebuilding of andhra pradesh sir. i have used the word reconstruction and rebuilding it's a very strong word because we are faced with two issues sir the first issue being you all know we have been talking about this for the last 5 years and my uh, senior colleagues have been talking about for the last 10 years about a uh, revenue deficit that andhra andhra pradesh is facing for the last 10 years sir we are struggling with it with this so i request of finance ministry to actually release the revenue deficit, revenue deficit uh whatever we are facing the gap that we have that is supposed to be released almost 7 to 8 years back we ex expect them to release it sir and also the second problem that we are actually facing is with respect to the debt that we are facing to the tune of 13.5 lakh crore sir the, if the debt is taken to actually add infrastructure it's no problem sir but the problem is in andhra pradesh mainly in the last 5 years this debt is that has been taken just and no new 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 infrastructure has been added to the state of andhra pradesh so that is what we are, is is the problem that we are facing right now sir so i expect the honorable prime minister and uh, and also the ministers who are sitting here to actually address these problems sir starting with um, set starting with um, starting with uh, i we want we want the minister jal shakti minister to actually look into polavaram project sir which is a we will definitely talk about everything we won't talk everything negative we want to talk about something positive also let's have let's have patience okay hey, please address uh, address to the chair don't spend too much Krishna, time Krishna, talking please, negative please honorable member address to the chair they happy talking about negative stuff sir no, let no, me talk about positive happy, stuff no they may be happy but chair is not happy you understand just finished our election let 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 us demand for what we need to get it from andhra pradesh you know what is the vote share the vote share is 0.7% Krishna, or something Krishna, so Krishna, please honorable member please address to the chair No cross tax. No cross tax. We we wanted to address with chair. Sir, look at this. Please sir, address with chair. Sir, I request the I request the Jal Shakti Ministry, sir, to actually look at the national project that is Polavaram, sir. It is it is being lying in the limbo for the last five years, sir. No progress has been made. I thank Jal Shakti Ministry for sending a new team so that they can inspect. and uh, assess the situation on ground sir but uh, we want it to be expedited because this is a project that can give water irrigation water to almost 4.3 lakh hectares in the state sir and also provide drinking water to almost 28 28.5 lakh houses also sir and also 960 megawatt of hydel power also can be created through this sir so we want this is a national project that is being lying in the limbo for the last 5 years so we want this project to be expedited sir also we want to request the housing and urban affairs ministry to actually look at our capital amaravati sir it has been 33000 acres of land has been given by the farmers free of cost they have not taken a single rupee also sir expecting that capital will be built as soon as possible sir we expect funds to be given from our urban uh, housing and urban ministry so that this capital that that, that has to be built in andhra pradesh will be finished in as soon as possible because Andhra Pradesh has bifurcated almost 10 years back, but still we are running a, a state without a capital. Uh, capital, sir. Coming to the industrial corridor that has been promised from Chennai to Vishakhapatnam, 
which connects Vishakapatnam port, Kakinada port, and also the new and upcoming Machilipatnam port, Krishna Patna, Krishna Patna port. All these ports will become uh, connected. So this will actually give a flip for the term, look east. Sir. If this corridor can be finished, we can actually bring in investment, we can actually bring in new industry to this area to actually get character with the East, East Asian countries as well, sir. So we expect the ministry to look into it and also the treasury ministers to look into it, sir. Regarding uh, national highway projects that have been sanctioned to Andhra Pradesh, there's a ceiling that has been put for Andhra Pradesh, sir. The ceiling has been put for 2024-25 at 4,700 crores. We want this ceiling to be lifted so that more funds can be given to Andhra Pradesh because my constituency itself, my constituency itself in the last four or five years, you have given projects worth 2,000 crores. So if you put a ceiling of 4,700 crores, for the whole state, when do you expect these highway projects to be finished? So we want this ceiling to be lifted. Also coming to the education minister, I think he is also here. There are a number of central universities and institutes that have been promised and were given to Andhra Pradesh, sir. But most of these central universities and institutions, except for AIMS, most of them are working from a temporary building, sir. So we expect these buildings to be completed, the campuses to be built, so that this can function in the, uh, in the original campuses, sir. And also the tribal university and the regional institute of edu education has been promised to Andhra Pradesh. DPRs are being get, getting ready for the last four years, but uh, four to five years, but nothing is moving forward. We expect the education minister to look into it. So we want the uh, education minister to actually move it forward, sir. It's Coming to the greenfield crude oil refinery and petrochemical complex, chemical complex that have been promised to in the uh, area of Kakinada, we want it to be expedited so that so that more, more investment back. can come in, more, uh, you, you more revenue in can government. come in, and more employment come in into the region. I just conclude, sir, last point, no, sir. No, no, no. You are in the government. You can meet the ministers. A lot of times I have 30 minutes, sir. Rajaji, you spoke. You can get it. Sir, and uh, finally, sir, there, there have been many railway projects that have been sanctioned to Andhra Pradesh, many, many railway projects that have been sanctioned to Andhra Pradesh, but the, but the main and important thing that, that, that is the problem with, the, with this is, sir, we are ask, asking for a state contribution for the land acquisition. You know we are a revenue deficit state, so we request you to actually don't put us on par with uh, states like Maharashtra, which are revenue surplus, so please consider, with, consider us special so and, and make sure that these railway projects go forward, sir. With these comments, with these observations and, and submissions, I conclude my speech in support of the motion moved by Sri Anurag Thakurji, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Sri Rajiv Ranjan Singh, Honorable Member.